Mr. Schick, in your view, what's going to be the number one issue in this session in the legislature? Well, John, I think uh, taxes will probably be the most important. Well, now, they call this a money session. That's all we hear about. Is this going to be uh, money issues all the way down the line? Well, I think to most part, uh, mostly will be, yes. Uh, we have uh, mental health needing money. We have the schools needing money. Uh, State police are asking for money, firemen. Yes, it's going to be money. Okay, uh, Mr. Reagan, you've been in the legislature before, and uh, speaking of money, where is this money going to come from? You've had some experience. Where do you find this kind of dough? Well, John, the last session I served on the Ways and Means Committee, and I'm back on the Ways and Means Committee this time. Uh, I wish we had some answer for the desperate money problems we have. Technically, the state surplus will be down to uh, 1.8 million dollars by July the 1st. It normally is around 60 million dollars. And with this uh, so-called uh, pocket veto that uh, has come up in the last few days, if that is upheld, that's going to cost 100 million dollars there. Uh, I only wish that we had uh, someone that could give us all the answers for finding the tax dollars that's needed to finance the state, as Representative Schick has just mentioned. Now, our new governor has uh, said that there will not be a sales tax increase if he can help it uh, in the next couple of years. Do you think that you can solve any of these problems without raising the sales tax? Well, we haven't seen the governor's budget as yet. That's Governor Whitcomb's budget, and I would like to hold any comment until I see his budget to see what he's going to do. I personally feel that in order to do the job that has to be done for the state of Indiana to keep it moving forward, uh, we're going to have to find some tax dollars someplace. Maybe the governor has some solution that he hasn't dis disclosed to the legislature at this time, but it will take a lot of money to run the state of Indiana. The last budget was $2.3 billion, and John, that's a lot of money in anybody's language. <laughs> that's more than I make in a week at least. Gene, you're uh, going to be a freshman legislature down there. Have uh, any of your constituents uh, told you what they want you to do? or What is the number one issue around Delaware County? What do they say they want you fellows to do down there? Well, uh, the amount of mail that we're getting, and like Representative Schick and Reagan both said, if money's a big issue, I don't really think there's any issues at present that uh, be a great concern to Delaware County except property tax relief and the general, just the ones that's coming up here, but I'm looking forward to this session. I think it's going to be real interesting. Yeah, well, now we've just had a recent uh, decision from the courts that the pocket vetoes exercised by Governor Brannigan were not legal. Now, whether that stands or not, I suppose it still remains to be seen, but if it does, how is that going to affect this session of the legislature? <clears throat> well, John, the way I see on this, uh, we're going to have to uh, wait uh, before we do anything on budget, Dick, you're on Ways and Means, until uh, if this uh, is upheld uh, before we do anything on budget matters till we uh, see what we're going to do with this $80 million, which I think is about what it is, isn't it, 80 Dick? To 100 million, 80 yes. to $100 million. Yes. Uh, whether the Supreme Court will uphold this or not, I have some questions on it.